What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with part 3 of our Saxon campaign playing Attila Total War. And in the last episode, if you haven't checked that one out, we had a great siege at Tullifurdum where we uh, basically, well, destroyed like both these uh, Langobard armies and we're now taking the offensive against them. And the plan is to attack this Langobard army and then we'll bring out their garrison as well, which isn't that great, we can definitely deal with that. And then we'll take that city for ourselves because we do need the income. Our income is not looking so good right now. We are going to repair some of these slowly. So um, we should be okay on that front. And the plan is in the north to go after Lindum next. And then maybe on for Corinum after that. And we'll slowly uh, basically secure Britain. But we do need to watch out for this legion here. Um, the 7th legion. I don't know what it's doing. It keeps going between Rontomagus and the channel. It doesn't seem to be able to make up its mind. But anyway, first things first, we shall, well actually let's level up this guy first, see if we can do anything here. Um, well, sure, have that, and you can have, as you know, have that. And then you can have melee attack, and you can have, uh, have the spoiler. But anyway, we'll attack this army here, the forest wolves. Apparently it's going to be a fairly even match battle, but I think we can win this uh, fairly easily. So we will go straight onto the battlefield, and that is how we're going to start this battle off, it would seem. The battle of Ereglia, basically who controls this region of the world now. But anyway guys, I will see you in a moment on the battlefield. So we are back on the battlefield, and the plan is, as usual, skirmishes out front and in loose formation. Then we'll put our cavalry on the flanks in a moment. I'm probably going to go with spears in the center. Usually it's uh, spears on the flanks, but spears in the center. While our swords on the flanks, these are pretty rubbish anyway. Um, we'll probably support them with pikes. Sort of about here and here. Give them a bit. Then we'll put the general in the middle and I'll put the cavalry all on one flank and probably the right. And we'll uh, get underway. We'll crush this small army that we've got to deal with first and then we'll uh, deal with the reinforcements when they arrive. Doesn't look like there's anything here that's too scary. This is basically what remains of the siege battle that we just fought. And it's all going into the forest because they're cowards. Nope, they're going to just stop outside. Perfect. Let's have a look at some of these units. I've not actually had a look at them. Like Nordic Pikes. These guys are awesome. Yes, yes, you'll do well do well today. And then we've got our Warbound. Alright, tell me to shush. Got our Nordic uh, Mounted Raiders. They, they're pretty good. And then we've seen the Warlords. I mean, we've seen basically everything already. Okay, that's where the reinforcements are turning up. Over there. Maybe better actually put the cavalry on the far left. I might change the flanks. Which they have to go on. Where's my army stopping? Around here. Okay. Let's just move everything up a little bit further then. Maybe to about so. Then let's move everything to about there. And the general can kind of just fall in behind. Is there anything here that's too scary? Not really. I just need to kind of destroy this first army before the second army arrives. So the cavalry may need to be sacrificed just to slow them down. Oh, they're getting close. We're going to have to send in the infantry quickly. Yep, yeah, get a move on. Get a move on. Can you come around a bit? Start shooting these guys down. Thank you very much. You can't quite reach them yet, though. Okay. Um, no, shoot these guys. Keep shooting archers. I'm going to engage with as minimal amount of, of the Saxon Spears as possible. I mean, I'm still sitting in about three or four units. Um, let's get these guys here to turn and face. Uh, can you not turn? Thank you. Go that way. Go that way. Pikes, you're going to come over here as well. Cavalry. You can start attacking. General, you might as well support over here because that fight is going to be very simple and easy. Okay, like loads of the 
Okay, what happened there? There's a massive marsh over infantry. That's not... That wasn't what was planned. Put it like that. Uh, you just carry on focusing down them. Oh, okay, and they're going to flank us here. That's smart by the AI. I'll give it that. Um, but now I can surround them, so that's that's perfectly fine. Can you also get a move on? Like, come on, guys. Come on. They're... They're archers. In you go. In you go. Um, okay, already I've got stuff breaking. That's not so good. Uh, general, get up here. Archers, all focus down on the general. Be a bit scummy, but hey, don't really care. There we go, we're breaking them nice and slowly. The pikes are getting in there. We're going to break all this. And there we go, we're surrounding these guys. Send these guys in. For one final attack. Uh, general, we're going to need you in here. Um, they can go in, send back in those spears. Those Saxon spears really need a form shield wall. It's kind of my fault, but if their general's going to stand there and just die, then that's fine as well. Um, yeah, we're going to need cavalry in a minute, aren't we? They're running for the, th the edge of the map, that's fine. Oh, that's not good, There's that small unit of clubman's got behind my pikes. Oh, okay, we need to sort save them in a minute. Keep moving, Pikes. Keep moving. All right, come on, Pikeman. I think we've got this wrapped up very nicely. It's just going to take a little bit of time. There we go. Right, there we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, my Pikes are breaking. Not so good. Yeah, that's kind of expected. Uh, let's put up a rally. And then just finish it off. Um, archers, focus down something like that, Germanic Levy, um, one of the cavalry units can come chase down these guys over here, and there we go, that's a rout, I don't know what's left, uh, oh this unit here, oh, is this the other general I wonder, quite possibly, there he goes, he's breaking, and there we go, we have a victory, I'm going to just speed this up, and they don't need to be in the pipe formation anymore. Excellent, right, you keep going, guys. Who are you fighting and losing to? Archers, can you stop firing as well? Like, these guys are just breaking <laughs> I find it hilarious when units just start to break, even though they've uh, the battle's won and done. Really need to get some of these units upgraded. They're getting a bit trash. But that should uh, wrap that up very nicely. And that's it. That's going to be all that's left of the Langobards. They're going to become a bit of a bit of a horde and that is fine. We can deal with them being a horde. And then after that we can basically secure Germany. We, like Germany secured. I don't really want to keep this settlement but it could be handy for uh, income. I imagine it'll be basically, yeah, it's, it's Germanic paganism like myself so that's fine. And we'll take on the warriors, save some replenishment, and then we'll just take the settlement. Um, I will just aggressively attack this. Yep, they die. Okay, so Langobard's just going to die out. And we chop his head off. Well, not quite, but... What, did we take an arm? Nasty. <laughs> yep, we lost a fair few men there, but that's fine. I'm going to occupy. I don't really want to subjugate. And there we go, we sort out the money problem. Food is still a problem, but that is not the end of the world. I'm going to bring that down. Um, the village can stay as it is. And that will do. That will do. Money is still a problem, but we will slowly repair everything. Cause next turn anyway, we'll have the money will sort itself out with that settlement or that part of the settlement sorting itself out. Well, basically being rebuilt. Integrity um, can go up and then we'll also put up I don't really want to put up horde because I'm not becoming a horde anytime soon. Um I'm going to put up guerrilla warfare as well. Just then we have better morale against Romans. Um, it's a 
because we're probably going to be fighting a lot of Romans. Um, we'll have the food one sorted out here, and then... Oh, no, that's actually not helping, because he's not, obviously... Um, we'll do cunning. Then do... Integrity. So this army is going to be very integral. Oh, that didn't... Did that not do it? There you go. Sorted. Excellent. Right, so... I think that's all we're going to do. We're going to be in a bit of a food problem, but... That should sort itself out gradually um, with time. So we'll end the turn. Oh, I can still assign a governor. Okay. Um, you take on Germania. Uh, and is there a food one? I don't know. Probably not. It's not like there's bread in games. Uh, growth could be handy. Um, I could start converting people to Germanic paganism. Or growth. I don't really need growth here. Be nice. I found the Lugians. Um, I might try and trade with them. Um, I'm going to put growth in for now because that's kind of the only one I really want. Let's see if we can get. Okay, we're friendly with the Makamans. Welcome. We will talk and want some money off you. Until our guts rumble and our backsides. Yes, that's fine. Then I want trade off you. Um, can I have it for that? Okay, can I have trade for 300? And then I can start to rebuild some of my stuff. Thank you. No, I didn't think so. That's all I want off you anyway at the moment. Um, can I rebuild anything here? No, no. This can be rebuilt. That's good. That'll sort out my food problem at the end of the next turn. Then the Lugians. They really hate me because they're at war with... The Antians? I'm not really sure why you hate me then. Uh, the Burgundians, I'd really like to get trade you with you. But my... you'll hate me. And you'll continue to hate me for the rest of time, it would seem. Um, the Jutes really, really like me. Good and noble friend. Nope, didn't think there would be anything I could do with you. Danes, I'd really I like to do some you, trade or speak. something with you, but no. Picts. We can see the picks. Um, moderate. Yep, yeah, okay, that's good got non-aggression and I don't really want to give them military access so they can clear off if they think they're good in that um, and that should be it I think we could attack this city but that's then gonna cause more food problems which I can't really afford to sort out at the moment so it actually does bring in food uh, yeah I uh, know I think I could take Lindum I don't know where their army is, but I'm, I'll risk taking Lindum. Oh, their army's up there. Yeah, let's take Lindum then. I'll take the little... Uh, well, I don't really want the Jutes or the Picts to take it. So I just, I'll just i take it for the sake of it. It may damage me in some way. Uh, I could loot and occupy. That will... Province instability... Uh, no, I'll just... Already province... Instability is going to be a bit of a problem. I'll loot and occupy. I could do with the money. And I can repair everything anyway. What can I? Uh, I guess I repair. I can. I'll destroy that and I'll repair that. And that'll sort out all that problem. That's the money all sorted out as well. Food is still a slight problem, but that's fine. Um, we'll put. Hmm. I'm going to put sacking in and integrity. There we go. Now we will end the turn. Now we will end the turn. There we go. Hopefully, well, now that secures uh, Kalmar Dunham, um, basic from any problems, though it is still going to have rebellion problems. Same with Lind uh, Londinium. Kind of really need to sort that out. Hopefully, we can sort out any problems that, like, that Roman army has. I don't think they'll attack us. There's the Jutes and someone else over there. I say that as they'll probably now move, won't they, on me? No, they're going to move their other army to run to, from run to Magus back in land. Looks like the Eastern Roman Empire is having a lot more problems than the West. Very unusual. Uh, you want me to kill some man. Oh, the general of this. I don't even have a flipping... There we go, food shortage sorted. Um, there is a food shortage in Germania. That can be uh, that can be sorted out very quickly. Yeah, we'll build that. Actually, yeah, we'll rebuild that because that's very handy for then 
recruiting better units. And we can't really recruit anything good here. But our economy is actually looking okay as well. Our economy is looking good. Um, Nordic Raiders replace Nordic Brigands. No. Nordic Brigade replace Nordic Band. That could be handy. What does this do? Public order from bureaucratic reforms. Um, now I'm just going to put the fine military obligation in. I know we haven't done this one yet, but um, not really too fussed about that one just yet. Um, and the army's looking okay. I could just recruit like one of these units, like these Saxon band, but I'm not so fussed when I, especially when I can just recruit them here. Pikes are pretty effective. I won't lie. I would like to go after the Franks next. Um, if there's a war with anyone. But, I mean, looks like the Jutes have given up as well over here. Uh, 13 against uh, my 17. Yeah, they're never going to come over here. I do have a lot of mercenaries. I mean, they're a little bit more expensive. I could probably do with changing them out at some point. Um, oh, I have to just destroy it. So I wasted money on that. That was a silly move. Um, I could do growth. That could be handy. Um, or we could go down economy. Hmm. Uh, what can we get with religious paganism here then? Don't know if I really want to stay pagan. Uh, or Germanic pagan. I would like to really go Christian at some point. Bone crafter could be handy. I'm going to put another artisan in over here. Just so I have it. On the, on the, on the mainland. On my island of Britain. Um, I'm going to probably do nothing else in the way of that. I could do with possibly moving this army. I don't know where I... W I'm, I moved it once and it basically, then we had threatening problems with our... What was it? Ah, actually, do I really want to spend the money when I have, haven't have rebuilt everything over here? Which is probably actually what I need, should really do. This will sort out the economy a lot quicker. I bet I can't now build anything here. No. That's fine. We can live with that. Um, so we'll do that. We'll end the turn. And that should uh, sort out our economy even more. Because we'll now have our village or our city now rebuilt and actually making money. I don't know where the Jutes are going. What the heck are they doing? Also the Huns. Going to be a big problem when they eventually do arrive. I'm going to try and get very, very strong before Attila um, does anything. I don't know what the Western Roman Empire is doing. Maybe it's sending its uh, armies um, like to the Rhine. I don't know. I think I'm going to attack there. I'm really not. But I don't really want to yet. I've got enough problems as it is. Fighting in Britain. Uh, food shortage here. That's not so good either. Um, food is minus one. That's not so good. Well, I can sort out the food problem. But it is going to cause public order uh, problems anyway. So, does it really matter? Um, I'm going to put that in. Mm, that's, uh, oh, they're all. Oh, no, they're not all 2,000. I could put Nordic Hurlers in. Or I could put in a well. Does a well help with public order? No, it just helps with growth. A uh, Chieftain House would be pretty handy. That does actually use all of my money, though. But we can then go for Chieftain's Hold. And then Chieftain's Keep. And then the Chieftain's Castle. And that means we can get lots of cool units. Don't really... Oh, there we go. We can recruit a Hearthguard there. I was wondering where you can get them. Because we keep getting them as garrison, but you can't recruit them. But no, you can. We can, and we may need them for uh, later on. Um, rebellion's not going to happen here for a long time. It's probably going to happen in Linden first. Demolition of there. Excellent. There's now a food shortage in... Well, is it... Uh, yeah, Britannia Inferior is a food shortage. Okay, so... Oh, this is a yeah. This is a lot more of a problem. Minus three, but we'll sort that out. That will I will put a food place in here, probably a farmstead, um, in and then some fields after. We'll do that. But anyway, guys, if you've been enjoying this let's play, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already um, to support the channel. And if you want to see more Saxons, I just thought I'd drop that in there while we end the turn and we have a look and see what else happens. I probably could do a lot more political stuff, but. I'm not going to do it if needs be. I don't really want to damage the status quo. We seem to be quite well in control of our faction at the moment. 
it's just whether we uh, can do anything in the long run to like hold back these the Huns and stuff. Because I want to keep my German lands. I'm now now that I've committed to the second settlement, I've got to keep these German lands going. I also am debating whether it's just to say Germanic paganism, because otherwise we're gonna to have to still convert stuff. An illegitimate birth? How dare they have an illegitimate birth? And then border dispute. There we go. This is a political thing we have to deal with. Take the ban. Uh, take the band. Take the. Take back the land by force. Or buy the land. Anyway, along the borders of our nation, a farmer from the neighboring state is claiming land belongs to one of our of his. I'm gonna take it back by force. I'm gonna take it back by force, and we're going to ha we're gonna take it. Our economy looks good now. Actually, looks very very good. Keep that up, boys. Let's uh, let's. Pr Do I get some warhounds? They're very cheap. I could actually just make an army of warhounds. That'd be kind of funny. Actually, to be fair, quite a lot of our units are very cheap, and it's quite annoying. But yes, we'll see what happens. Um, Londinium. I'm. My food situation is actually looking okay now. So we'll probably, we could actually put in, well, food's not doing, oh no, food's hit okay here as well now. Interesting. I would like to start converting some of these places, if possible. Um, I'm going to put a farmstead in anyway, so we just can recruit some stuff. It gives us Nordic hurlers, I guess, that we can recruit. I could then actually get them Nordic hurlers in. I bet they cost a lot less upkeep than these skirmishes, and they do a lot more damage, don't they? They do. So we're going to do that. That's something that we'll do. We'll do that. We'll get... Nordic hurlers in to replace my Nordic brigands because I'm not really a fan of them. They don't do a lot of good for me. Um, this thing is always better than, like, on the walls anyway. But yes, the aim is probably to go up to Urb Urbazis and Flevum next, and we'll probably, like, take them out. Hopefully, sort out the economy so we can start converting some of these places. And we could stay Germanic Pagan. Be an interesting move. I until I see like a massive upshoot in like Latin Christianity, I could go Aryan Christi uh, Ar Arian Christianity or whatever it's called. Is it Aryan? Ar Arian? I think it's Aryan. Um, it's not spot the same as the the way that Hitler liked it, but how? But I presume it's the same thing. The Western Romans, what are you doing, guys? They're clearly not doing anything. Um, but that's fine. We'll just deal with them as and when. When they make a mistake, or when someone else declares war on them. Block the promotion? Um, yes, I will. I'll block... Oh, border dispute. Attitude with the Franks. I could have bought the land, I guess, but I didn't. Oh, dear. Well, I'll make you an elder. We're only having, uh, it seems, bastard children. In oh, no, this, this guy's a normal child. <laughs> a normal child. He's a, a full... No, no, he's a legitimate child. That's the one. A full child. Yes, we just have half children in this in this realm. Um, our economy's looking actually kind of good now. I don't really know if I have anything I really want to spend it on. I actually don't think I can spend it on anything. Oh, I could spend it here. Public order would be damaged, and I don't really want to damage it any more than it is already. I'd rather save up for a chieftain's hold, a hall, sorry, and uh, get that in, and then... Uh, yeah, that would be better. That would be a lot better, actually. And then we could we could go north to Borokum. I would rather wait until it's not winter. So I'm going to end... Oh, no. Horsa needs some stuff doing. Horsa apparently needs things doing. Um, let's have weighted practice shield for you while we're here. And wealth from immigration could be pretty handy. And then you can have a food thing. And you can have... A raven. Because the raven's always good. Have the raven. Then you've got discount on everything you build here. That's that's always a good start as well. And then we can sort out corruption in, when you get upgraded next time. And you've got more food. Always good. Fertility's not great. I, I presume my food's gone shooting down because it's winter. And it's just simply winter. I'm sure, if we go into spring, it'll go right back up probably to like 80. Maybe 90. Maybe not. I might be wrong, but I'm sure that the seasons do affect how much fertility we get and stuff like that. I should really go for Corinum, but now I've made my move and going, I kind of need to, like, I don't know, defeat the army in the north at uh, Borokum. And I might try and lure them out next turn. Oh, there is going to be a rebellion, though. Maybe not just yet, then. And we are going slowly Latin Christian in this realm. Okay, here we go. 
So for those that haven't seen this, this is going to be Attila being born. They made ready for war. The world had fallen into shadow. It had indeed. The earth grew cold, and the wind whispered of death. And I beheld a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. Poor dear. Dead on the ground. Attila was born. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Attila was born from darkness and despair. Excellent. He is here. My only true foe. We will deal with him when he comes of age. We can't kill him when he's a baby. There we go. We've got a lot of money now as well. Um, I presume we get a lot of money just for surviving till this period. Yes. There you go. Very nice. I can now... Can't quite convert this. I might save up my money and just start converting some of these places. Climate change is happening and food shortage is resolved. Excellent. And um, there is going to be a rebellion. I'm going to just save my money because I'd rather convert some of these cities to just basically like me. <laughs> they hate me here. Yeah. Like, but if I convert it to this, then at least there's public order and there's no food consumption from that. That's actually quite good. And squalor goes down. So I'm going to wait on that. And we'll, we'll sort out next turn. I could, I uh, could attack people. I'll see whether I can get any money out of people. I doubt it. The Makamans probably won't give me anything moderate. Oh no, they would. Defensive alliance. That's good. And they'll give me military access. Excellent. Right. Will the Franks start to like me more then? No, they still hate me even more. I am sure you have many. Yeah, I, I imagine that was going to be the case. They're at war with the Picts. Interesting. And they are trade. So these guys are basically going to stay loyal to the Romans by the looks of it. The entire battle. Or the entire battle, the entire, the entire let's play, is what I mean. I'd like you to go to war with the Romans. We're impro improving. That that Low. Is not hmm. be like yeah, I didn't think that would be the case. I'd like to keep you on side because you're kind of protecting my northern border, and you'll be a nice little buffer state when the Huns do eventually arrive. Um. Yes, I do. I guess. Well, there's gonna be a rebellion here anyway. I'd rather keep this army. In here, just for the turn, while you're doing stuff. Um, so I'll end the turn again. Oh no, I won't. You have some skills as a governor. Um, nothing there that can really help us. Um, you can have that though for public order, and then you can also have that, and you can have food. Excellent, excellent. Right there we go. End the turn. So uh, clearly everything over here loves us. I may go to war with the Lugians. Uh, I don't really want to go massively more east, but, I mean, I guess we could. We will see what happens, whether the Huns will appear. I don't think they'll move too far west at this point. AI Huns, until, like, Attila is born, don't do a lot. But they may also already be annoying the Romans, because certainly the Eastern Romans, because they seem to be doing a lot of damage. I can now see... Oh, I don't really want to see what they're doing, but I guess we can see. Looks like the Makamans doing pretty well, though. They're making a nice little uh, kingdom for themselves in the north of Aust uh, like Austria and the Roman Empire, like that sort of area. So they're doing that's good to see. Um, whether they'll convert, I don't know. I should actually have a look and see whether I could convert to anything decent at this point. Rebellion, I expected no less. Uh, rebellion imminent also in the southern part of my kingdom that I'm making. Right, yeah, you've already crossed the line here, pal. You're already well over the line. I'll go and sit in, um, I guess I could go and sit in Kalmadon, go and sort that out. And we'll have money anyway, so we can now convert some of my cities. Just take on, take on the men, we'll take some Romans, those dirty Romans. There you go, go and sit here. Kalmadon, um, and then we'll convert this. Ooh. Did that, was that a really, like, low cost for, like, how much it was gonna, was I, no, my eyes were deceiving me. I'm sure this one costs even less, yeah. But I'm going to do this one first, the 6,000 one. That'll sort that out. It's going to take 10 turns. Wow. Um, well, that'll do do its thing then, I guess. For 10 turns. So while that's doing that, we'll um, 
make some progress. Oh, we can expand. I doubt we can build anything, but I'll just do it for the sake of it. Um, and then I wonder... Ah, but we've left Lindum open. I guess that's not the end of the world because we can just then let the Romans come and take it and sweep in ourselves. Um, I'm not too opposed to that. How much do you cost? I could actually... Yeah, let's get rid of all of you then. I can afford to build you all. Don't want that many though. Not that many. A Nordic Levy, you are okay, but you're not great. Um, so I'm not going to buy any more of you. I'd like some actually some actual decent stuff in here, like these guys. They were very very good. And I'm going to making a bit of a bit of profit because those guys cost less to upkeep. Whether I uh, build anything here, I've got one unit. Just, it's bugging me that I don't have another unit. I'd rather send these guys back to Tully Ferdum and actually get the unit here. Um, they can take the hit for now. I'll move them into a regular, I guess. And okay, so clearly we still need armies over here because they're not happy enough. Um, they still have the Javis, but that's okay. I actually can't afford to get another unit, so that's kind of a waste. Uh, I guess I could put Nordic Hurlers in. Um, yeah, go on. I'll put Nordic Hurlers in. There we go. So maybe I won't be making a bit of profit because I'm buying more troops, but oh well. Um, we'll end the turn and this will probably be the final turn that we do um, while we see what happens with the world. So Attila has been born and he is ready to set the world on fire at the ripe old age of probably about one at this point. Um, <laughs> no, So he's got a few more years till, he's, till we see him on the battlefield, but... Um, yeah, when he does arrive, I'm pretty sure the Huns get so many more buffs and they're just so much more powerful. But, I mean, the, both empires are still looking okay. Western Roman Empire is actually probably looking... Generally, just looking at what factions have, like, spawned out, generally look a lot better. And they're actually making an offensive against Augusta Vindelicorum. So we may need to watch out for that, but, I mean, they've got a lot more summons to go through before they get near mine. So I'm not too worried about that. Makamans are sending up troops to sort of defend, but, I mean, it's going to take a lot more than that to stop that. It's basically one and one and a half full stacks. Yeah, looking at Illyria is the only one that's come out of the Western Roman Empire and Illyria always dies um, for both sides. Unusual conditions, I know, I know. There are some unusual conditions. They didn't attack um, here, that's interesting. I'm gonna... Oh, of course, we can now retrain you. You go up a little bit in price but not too much and that's fine. Nordic Brigade are now... Well, now what we use, basically. And that's, uh, yeah, that's actually not too bad. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to do this one for three. So it allows us just to get Basket Weaver and Line Maker. And then we'll also finish in that whole, like, section. Um, I would like to go with the war with the Franks next, I think. But not just yet. Um, a little bit of time. And I kind of want to finish the Romans off first. Uh, I could get Cavalry here. Um would be kind of nice. I'd like probably a goat, ho a goat herd though would probably actually be better for money. Though we could actually just get one in each, uh, one of each, one for a different area. I would also like to really get some money for building a port of some sort, probably a trade one. Or oh, fishing jetty could be quite good. Actually a, a trade jetty would be a lot better. I might save up for that actually. I might save up for a trade jetty so I'm not going to spend any money um, this turn either. I will probably... Let's have a look whether we can convert. Oh, we have a sort of disloyal guy. So I'm going to just... We'll just secure your loyalty. Um, so we can't convert to anything. We need 35%. Oh, Latin Christianity is going up though. It's going up massively. So is Germanic Paganism in fairness. Latin Christianity is going up a little quicker though. So we could convert to that. So, changing this may actually be in a bit of a waste of time. But we'll see. I may just stay Germanic Paganism for now. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. I've spent the money now. Um, I could obviously change it. We may, we'll may. we see how we go in the next few turns. It's at 17%. If it makes a huge jump in the next few turns, I can cancel it. I'll get the money back. Um, and we can spend it somewhere else, either on another trade jetty or, or a Chieftain's Hall. We'll see. But anyway, guys, until next time, I will say bye for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And until next time, Legionnaires, 